My name is Barbie Anderson. <laughs> My name is Michelle Lentz. I'm the president of the um, Child Protection League. My name is Doug Wardlow, and I'm an attorney with Alliance Defending Freedom. My name, as you know, is Emily Zenos. And I'm a member of the American College of Pediatricians. I resigned from the American Academy of Pediatrics because they followed political correctness. If a child says, I'm stupid, what do you do? You don't come to them and say, I affirm you in your stupidity. Of course not. We stand ready to um, support any legal challenge uh, against Anoka Hennepin were they to include a gender inclusion policy. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Being exposed to a male student in my daughter's safe space of the female bathroom or locker room at school before my daughter's chooses is not a right. And I, I agree 100% with the first speaker, Barb Anderson, in this. For the past numerous years, I've attended seminars around the nation. I think the most helpful thing for tonight would be what the American College of Pediatricians states. No schools should be affirming. Adults shouldn't be affirming. Schools should not be affirming kids in their, in their uh, gender. Even if it happens once or twice a year where a boy is walking into a girl's restroom, it's too much. It just creates too much, too much turmoil for their mind. If there are people who are still concerned that, well, they're going to be noticed and they're going to get picked on, then maybe my suggestion to those families is maybe put your children in homeschooling. Do not lie to ourselves because this is not about those kids, those bathrooms. Those bathrooms are about the killing United States of America. Thank you. Thank you for dropping that off. Thank you. you. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Cosman. Welcome. Thank you very much. God bless America. Thank you.